Hey guys, all right, so this video was actually very highly requested from you guys ever since I got my hair. As you guys know, my hair has been longer than I had extensions and I had them taken out. And then I decided to not only take my extensions out, but cut a whole bunch off my hair. So I realized this is not actually like a short length for most people, uh, but it is a short length for me. Um, I would consider this like a lob or a long bob. It has grown out some since I first had it cut. And next time I'll probably take even a little bit more. But what I wanted to share with you guys, you keep asking like, how do you create this look? How do you, how do you get so much volume in your hair? Lots of questions about how I do this, how I get so much volume, um, the PCness and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I wanna share with you today is sort of how I do my hair. Now, a couple of disclaimers before we get into this video. Number one, I'm not a hairstylist. Please just, I'm not a hairstylist. I'm also not um, like a hair video maker, hairstyle video, you know what I mean? There's people on here who do hair tutorials and how to do cool braids and stuff like, that's not me, okay? That don't come here for that. I'm just saying that because I know that there's gonna be things that people are like, I would never do that to my hair, especially when I show you guys kind of how I tease it and the products I put in and stuff. It's not for everybody. I'm just merely making this video because so many people asked how I do my hair. I am not saying you should do your hair this way. I'm just saying this is how I do my hair. So that's the disclaimer. Um, again, I like a ton, ton, ton of volume. I want big, giant hair. I love me some Dolly Parton. The bigger the hair, the better. I don't have the hmm, so we're gonna go with the hmm. So yeah, I will link all the products down below as well as um, the account for Harmonized Beauty, I think is her YouTube and Instagram. There's um, the technique that she uses is the same technique that I'm using and I learned that from her. So I will leave her link down below. Yeah, this is how I do my hair. I hope y'all enjoy this video. Of course, if you decide to try it or do your hair like this, please like post a picture on Instagram and tag me or something. I'm this gathered nest on Instagram. So hop over there and send me a picture if you decide to like give it a whirl. But I really, really like it. And I like how much volume and I, but I like how much volume I get. And uh, I live in a very humid climate. I live in the South. Um, so it's very humid here and the humidity just wreaks havoc on curls and hair. So this is the only way that I can go out into that, walk through that soupy air and not have my hair just go completely flat. So yeah, the bigger the better in my opinion. That's what she said. Okay, so I've washed and dried my hair. I've just got it up in a towel. I don't have any product in it. It is clean. So the products I put in my hair wet. I spray this Purology um, Color Fanatic Multitasking Hair Beautifier um, all over my hair. This has 21 essential benefits. I just really like it. It's a primer protector, but I use the Aveda Volumizing Tonic. It looks like this. Um, and I'll link to these products below, um, but this is the Aveda Volumizing Tonic, and this I put just at the root. The amount of this that I use depends on whether or not I'm going to use the other product, which is the Kenra Root Lifting Spray. This stuff works great, but it does leave a little bit of like a crispy feel. So if I do that, I know that I'm probably gonna have to wash my hair sooner rather than later. I won't be able to, if I put this all in my hair, I have a hard time stretching my hair out to like four days. If I do this, it's usually because I know I'm going to really want a lot of volume, but also be willing to wash my hair again in just a couple days. Anyway, so what I do then with this is I don't get this anywhere near the front of my head. I only take my fingernail lift and go to the back. I don't know if you can see, like back of my hair, spray it at the root rub it in and I am not neat with this stuff like I just lift in random places and spray around the crown like that part of my head back here because I want the volume like here and I don't want this to add like crunch to my hair up here in the front part. That is all that I do before I blow dry my hair. Okay so now when it comes time to blow dry my hair I just take this big round brush my regular old blow dryer like this the only thing special I do here is that with this front section, I blow dry it like this. Okay, and that helps to give me a lot of lift here at the front of my hair. Now for the rest of my hair when I blow dry it, I just, 
I just blow dry it with my head flipped upside down um, and then blow dry like these sections the opposite way. So I'm gonna blow dry them really hard this way so that then when they flipped back over, there's volume all over. And you've got all that root lifting stuff in there. So that helps immensely. But that is kind of the direction. I just, nobody wants to listen to a blow dryer. So I'm not gonna be like for the next five minutes. I will try to fast forward and just show you if I can, but that's the general idea. Now that my hair is all dry, I am going to be using two different tools. I'm gonna to be using a flat iron, um, and then I'm using this palladium ceramic curling iron. I believe this is like one and a quarter inch, or it might just be a one inch. And then I'm just gonna grab the flat iron, and I just want to, cause I have kind of like frizzy hair, at the, especially at the tips. So I am just going to flat iron um, the ends of my hair, not anywhere up here, cause I don't have a lot of layers. So just flat iron the ends and that's what will also help give it kind of that PC look when you're done. Leave down this bottom layer. The products I'm gonna be using on my hair for this part is just the Aveda Air Control Hairspray. Ever since I switched to this, it's the only thing that gives me the volume and I'll show you because I was just kind of spraying it all over but I learned a trick from um, I don't know what her first name is, but her channel is Harmonize Beauty, and I think that's her Instagram as well. Um, but she does this, and it works perfect, perfectly. So all credit goes to her for this. But first thing I do with this, and I don't know if she does this or not, but I just, on this bottom layer, I just kind of spray it all over. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my little curling iron here and just grab sections about this big. Nothing crazy. And I'm gonna start curling up here by the root and do a little turn, turn and pull, turn and pull, turn and pull. And I don't know if you can see that, but I leave a little bit out. So see how it pushes that curl like away from your head? This is what's gonna help give it all that volume. And then I leave it straight at the ends, which just kind of gives it that PC messy look. For this next section, this is different. I take my little comb, I grab a section of hair, um, and I back comb it. And this is the, I learned this from, um, that har from Harmonized Beauty. And then you take the air control hairspray and spray it right there where you back combed it. The reason this works and doesn't get all crazy crunchy, okay, first of all, you see how immediately like you have volume there. The reason this works and doesn't get all crazy crunchy is because that air control hairspray, I'm not a hair dresser, so I can't tell you why, but it breaks up a little bit. Um, ah! I'll show you what we're gonna do with, the, look at that. I'll show you what we're gonna do with the curl, um, but the hairspray breaks up. I don't know how to explain it. It just works, okay? So I just lift my hair up, back comb it, Right. If you don't want to tease and back comb your hair, if you think it's going to damage your hair too much or whatever, then, then absolutely don't do it. I don't find that it does that for me. I don't. I mean, and look at the volume. Um, so yeah, that's a personal choice. I'm just sharing with you how I do my hair because you asked me to. Okay, now we are going to do the same thing with these pieces now that have that hairspray at the root, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take the curling iron, we're gonna place it here and curl right at the root and like turn and pull. Look at that volume. I should mention like, it's gonna look crazy until we're done and can like 
finish out the style. It's gonna look crazy while the curls set and everything cools. But like I was saying before, until I learned that trick from Harmonized Beauty's channel about um, using the air control hairspray, this style didn't stay as long and keep as much volume. Like obviously you can still do your hair like this without that product. But that product has meant that my hair um, has stayed in this voluminous state a lot longer and a lot better. So I am going to take my comb and I'm just gonna make thin layers across the top like that. Then I just leave out this front section here um, that I sort of consider to be my bangs area. I'm gonna leave that. Actually, first thing I'm gonna do is flat iron that just a little bit on the end so it's not so frizzy. Put the curling iron right at the root. Okay, see all this volume we've created at the root? Like, crazy, right? Good volume. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of push my hair to the side here and just do a little bit of work with my flat iron to help bend it, shape it a little bit in the direction I want it to go. Um, I don't wanna do a super tight curl here by my face, so I just kind of take this section very loosely, and this one I don't curl at the root. I just actually mostly curl the ends and pull it down just so it kind of blends a little bit better with the rest of the hair. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna walk around looking like a complete lunatic for a few minutes, and you're just gonna let all of the curls cool. Everything that's in your hair just needs to cool off. Don't touch your hair while it's still hot. So my hair has cooled off, and um, again, I wanna say like I like big, giant, huge jack it up to Jesus hair, okay? I wanna reach the heavens with my hair. If you don't wanna do that, then you don't have to go this intense. You could skip steps, um, or even this part of the process, you can skip steps. You'll be able to do that with your fingertips, and you'll watch as you play with your hair how it will fall. Also, I live in a very humid climate, so even if I left it like giant, it wouldn't stay that giant for long. So the next product I'm gonna use is the Pure Abundance Hair Potion from Aveda. Again, I will link her um, Aveda store, and I'm only gonna put this back here. These are all products that I uh, learned about from her. Like I said, the air control and this. Um, I'm just going to, okay, so this is a powder. Sorry, I'm not, I'm obviously not like a hair tutorial genius here. It's a powder, but when it touches your hair, it kind of becomes a liquid. So I am just focusing it back here in this part of my hair. So I take the powder, I don't know if you can see it coming out, just kind of go over the back of my hair like that, and then I run my fingers through it. And you will be able to feel the grip and like kind of grit it gives your hair. If you have really fine hair, um, I you will notice like, holy cannolis. And as I'm doing that, I take my fingertips and just kind of break up a little bit of that, um, te not the teasing necessarily, but just like some of that air control hairspray, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like you're not trying to get rid of all that. You're just breaking it up a little bit. If you have any areas that stayed kind of chunky feeling or something, um, then you just break them up so that you don't have weird chunks. Um, then I'm going to use, I either use this flexible beeswax texture hair wax spray or the texture tonic from Aveda. Um, I think today I'm gonna use the beeswax because I really want a good hold. So this is very waxy. This is gonna help create like texture and pieciness. So I don't put this at the root, just down here through the bottom part of my hair. You're not trying to create a rat's nest, but you're just trying to create some PC, all the volume we've created. Yes, okay, there you go. Okay guys, so that is everything for this video. I hope I answered all of your questions about sort of how I get this look and how I do this. If you have any other questions, you can leave them down below in the comments and I will do my very best to answer them. Um, but yeah, this is it, this is how I do it. Let me know if you have any other video requests, anything you wanna see. Um, I know a lot of you have been asking about how I do my messy bun. So I'll show you that next. 
because that requires very, very dirty hair. So my hair is obviously clean. It'll be a few days and then I'll do that um, when my hair is nice and dirty. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye. Do, do, do.